boys and girls, welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. It is Palm Sunday. It's a really special day of Jesus' journey, the, his passion to the cross. All right, we have a very special reading of it by Mary Jean. So let's start with our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please bow your heads. Almighty God, Jesus walked the way of the cross, a long and difficult walk, not to save his own life, but to save ours. Today, we gather to remember all that he did for us on the last day of his earthly life. May our remembering increase our loving. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. The Passion of Our Lord Jesus Christ According to Mark Early in the morning, the chief priests, the nation's leaders, and the teachers of the Law of Moses met together with the whole Jewish council. They tied up Jesus and led him off to Pilate. He asked Jesus, Are you the King of the Jews? Those are your words, Jesus answered. The chief priests brought many charges against Jesus. Then Pilate questioned him again. Don't you have anything to say? Don't you hear what crimes they say you have done? But Jesus did not answer, and Pilate was amazed. During Passover, Pilate always freed one prisoner chosen by the people, and at that time there was a prisoner named Barabbas. He and some others had been arrested for a murder during a riot. So the Jewish people now came and asked Pilate to set a prisoner free, as he usually did. Pilate asked them, Do you want me to free the king of the Jews? Pilate knew that the chief priests had brought Jesus to him because they were jealous. But the chief priests told the crowd to ask Pilate to free Barabbas. Then Pilate asked the crowd, what do you want me to do with this man you say is king of the Jews? They yelled, crucify him, nail him to a cross. Pilate asked, but what crime has he done? Nail him to a cross, crucify him. They shouted even louder. Pilate wanted to please the crowd, so he set Barabbas free and then he ordered his soldiers to beat Jesus with a whip and nail him to a cross. The soldiers led Jesus inside the courtyard of the fortress and called together the rest of the troops. They put a purple robe on him and on his head they placed a crown that they had made out of thorn branches. They made fun of Jesus and shouted, Hey, you, King of the Jews! Then they beat him on the head with a stick. They spit on him and kneeled down and pretended to worship him. When the soldiers had finished making fun of Jesus, they took off the purple robe. They put his own clothes back on him and led him off to be nailed to a cross. Simon from Cyrene happened to be coming in from a farm and they forced him to carry Jesus' cross. Simon was the father of Alexander and Rufus. The soldiers took Jesus to Golgotha, which means place of a skull. There they gave him some wine mixed with a drug to ease the pain, but he refused to drink it. They nailed Jesus to a cross and then gambled to see who would get his clothes. It was about nine o'clock in the morning when they nailed him to the cross. On it was a sign that told why he was nailed there. It read, this is the king of the Jews. The soldiers also nailed two criminals on crosses, one to the right of Jesus and the other to his left. So the scriptures came true, which say he was accused of being a criminal. People who passed by said terrible things about Jesus. They shook their heads and shouted, Ha! So you're the one who claimed you could tear down the temple and build it again in three days. 
save yourself and come down from the cross. The chief priests and the teachers of the law of Moses also made fun of Jesus. They said to each other, he saved others, but he can't save himself. If he is the Messiah, the King of Israel, let him come down from the cross. Then we will see and believe. The two criminals also said cruel things to Jesus. About noon, the sky turned dark and stayed that way until about three o'clock. Then about that time, Jesus shouted, Eloi, Eloi lima sabachthani, which in English means, my God, my God, why have you deserted me? Some of the people standing there heard Jesus and said, he is calling for Elijah. And one of them ran and grabbed a sponge. After he had soaked it in wine, he put it on a stick and held it up to Jesus. He said, let's wait and see if Elijah will come and take him down. And Jesus cried out, and he died. At once, the curtain in the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. A Roman officer was standing in front of Jesus. And when the officer saw how Jesus died, he said, this man really was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And now we will read the prayers of the faithful. Let us remember in prayer all the people in the world who suffer today as Jesus once suffered. To each petition, please respond, Lord, have mercy on them. Lord, Lord have, have mercy on them. For all who are in jail for crimes they did not commit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy on them. For all who are mocked and persecuted just for being themselves, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on them. them. For all who are in great physical pain because of Ill illness or injury, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on them. them. For all who are without clothes, food, water, and medicine, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on them. For all who have been mistreated, even as they suffered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on them. And for an end to the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on them. And that all people will be able to celebrate the wonderful day of Easter, the resurrection of our Lord, with the people they love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on them. Let us pray. Loving God, we know that the story of Jesus, your son, does not end with his suffering and death. It continues with his resurrection and his ongoing life in heaven and in the church on earth. In our darkest moments, help us remember how our story will end if we follow in his footsteps. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now enjoy the rest of the day with your family on this Palm Sunday and get ready for next Sunday, the really big one, the resurrection of Jesus Easter. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Savior to greet the one who has come from